You know, in today's society, they say we don't have enough heroes or people to look up to. And I think the problem is we just don't look close enough. We're hanging out with a really cool guy today. I'm Lincoln Crum, and this is Locally Grown. Hi, my name is Chris Wilton, and I'm a lifelong resident of Clarksville, Indiana. The first 16 years of my life were pretty much normal, Little League Baseball, grade school basketball, hunting, fishing, hiking, running, jumping, all that good stuff. And about the age of 16, I noticed that there was some, I was having some difficulties with walking and running and jumping and things like that. And the muscle tone just wasn't there. And I kind of just ignored it. And at the age of say 17, I was misdiagnosed with a heart disease. So that's what I thought was going on for the longest time. And I just really didn't even investigate it anymore. Lost the ability to run and jump and stand up without holding on to something. You know, you get through high school and you start working and I was able to maintain enough strength to still work and kept working till the age of 24. After being laid off from Humana, I went down to Florida and stayed with my uncle for about a year. And during that time is when I decided that I should probably find out what's going on. You know, there was the question of, am I gonna be able to work? Should I apply for disability? And, you know, I just had a lot of questions and, you know, it was just time to get them answered. But they were still investigating the heart disease. It was when I returned home to, Louis, to Clarksville and saw a neurologist in Louisville at the age of 25 that I was diagnosed with FSH type muscular dystrophy. It affects the facial muscles, the scapular muscles, your shoulder blades, and the humeral muscles. Uh, muscular dystrophy is a disease that your body produces too much dystrophin and it prevents your muscles from growing and that's, that's what's happened. It was, I wouldn't say devastating, it was just, uh, you know, what's next? What, what do I do next? A lot, of, um, a lot of my success is contributed to Dr. David Boyce. He is currently a professor at Bellarmine, teaches physical therapy. Um, I've known him for probably 15 years now. And he just took a real interest. Physical therapy, just being around those people, it, it helped a lot. It helped me figure out, and with their help, you know, I figured out what needed to be done, and that was, you know, I needed to get more independent than I was, because it, was, it wasn't getting any better. And I needed to start learning how to live on my own. On September 13th, 2006, I, I would lovingly refer to it as an ambush. My friends invited me over for a late birthday fish sandwich and fries at Cunningham's on the Creek. And Dr. Boyce David was there with his family and some other friends were there. And they had already discussed without my knowledge that they wanted to help. They wanted to figure out <coughs> what I needed to do. And, how to help me get there. And that was the day that Wheels for Wilton started. And that was the first goal, was to raise money for a wheelchair accessible van. 